So have you walked around and and met like come across a witch? Yes. Like just like were you walking around with your wife? Were you walking around with your friends? Yeah. So the one time I do remember for sure. We were at a conference, okay. and there was a witch next to us. How did you know it was a witch? Because during worship, I mean, okay, this is so weird. People, only if you're a Christian, you're going to know what I'm talking about. To the Holy Spirit? You feel it. And to, the Holy describe Spirit describe that. highlights it to you, and you feel you feel weirdness. Did you get scared? Uh, Be honest. No, but I did was just like. Did your authority come out? Yeah, but check this out, because it was a Christian conference. Yeah. So during worship, this these two girls walk in. And they start doing this like Illuminati no. triangle. They're like doing this weird In your like, church? No, there's another church at a conference. And they start doing that towards the worship team oh, as no. the worship team is worshiping. It was almost like, dude, it's so crazy. It's almost like they were fighting. I saw it in my no spirit with spiritual way. lens. Like they were fighting back and forth. Like the worship team is going out praise. What? And then these two witches, there was two of them. They were doing stuff like back to them. And no. it was like, like this Pokemon. like. Or like Dragon Ball Z. Back and forth, dude. Yeah. Like, boom, boom, boom. like back you and forth, it. back and forth. Yeah. So then, sure enough, the prayer team, the ushers come and like literally start praying over them. They did? And then, yeah. And then like they didn't want to leave. So they ended up telling like them, like kicking them out. Like, oh, wow. like actually like, hey, you guys have to go. Like you guys have to leave. Wow. leave. So they actually got kicked out. Oh. I'll never forget that. They were like right there. Um, as far as in our church, there has been one time I didn't see her because I was, we we're on during worship. Yeah, yeah. And she came in like, you know, at the women's what, club. Um, so how long ago was that? Uh, twenty uh, seventeen. It's a long time. It's yeah. been a while. Do you feel like your boldness and authority has grown? Oh yeah. If like, I see you know like a witch, saying? if I see like a witch or warlock right now, yeah. Like, well, how would you feel right now? Like if they came to me and started like saying stuff, what would you do? Would you laugh oh, at them? I'd rebuke them right in their face. Would you bro? laugh at them? I laugh at them. Really? I'll take I authority. Laugh. I'll take authority real quick. Well, yeah, take authority. But I'd be like, in yeah. Jesus' name, you're done talking because they want to. They want to do curses, right? They want to yeah, so you got to throw it out In yeah. Jesus' name, yeah. you're you just, quiet right now in Jesus' name. Or you can just you can mock you them. Out, they don't like that either. Yeah. They don't like it when you mock them. But I got to break them, bind it. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Your boy it. Daniel Adams. Oh. He laughs at them. Yeah, you, I laugh at him, yeah. He laughs at him. Well, check it out. I saw a video of his, his boy. Blow, he blows on them and they fall and they vault. How do, you feel, do you, how do you feel? I feel like you keep sending me like. I don't. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like this stuff. And like people say, oh, it's the same thing you do. No, it's not the same thing. I don't blow on people and they fall and convulse. I don't pray on people and they just fall, you know? Um, this is so good, bro. This conversation is so is good. Is it really? I think that's what we're going to do. What? I think we should leave this as one episode. Okay. But I'm going to cut it for right, YouTube. Cut it, cut it. And then the rest of this. So this is probably now a Patreon. We're oh, in, my we're God. Pa we're in Patreon territory He's right now. cut it, yeah. So, guys, if you guys are on Patreon, you guys are getting this extended version <laughs> of our conversation. Because I feel like this is so good, like, to cut. Okay, yeah, yeah. Where are we at right now, Jen? Can you give it? let us know as far as time? How much time does it say we're on? Exactly. Like an hour and how many minutes? One hour. So literally one hour? Dang, like that's right cool. on the money. That's cool, yeah. Okay, so this way I just know. So let's do like another like 30 minutes. So like right around nine-ish. Uh, okay, just so I know. Uh, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was so I saying? So you're saying... Um, oh my God, I'm talking if about you, If you good. came up to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About so, blowing on people. You said about blowing on people. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, Okay, so what yeah. do you think about when people, when ministers, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, ministers are praying for somebody and they blow on them no, and they dude, fall? No, What do you think? I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they can do that. No. You don't think so? They blow on them and they fall? Like, that's, like, well, come on, dude. I don't know, man. I, I, don't, I mean, is it bad for me not to like it? No. Like, I mean, is it genuine or is it, like, what are you doing? Is it a show? It's a good question. Have you, have you seen anybody blow anybody at your at church and they fall? Not in our come church. Come on, dude. But in your boy's church. My boy's. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Which one, one time. Which one? <laughs> Who's my boy? I'll probably mute this. Oh. I'll, I'll mute this. I'll mute this. Oh. I muted it. So you guys don't know what I'm talking about. He blew on somebody? So I've been to their church when they were in a certain area. I can't even say where because they're going to know. But they, they used to be at another church, and I'll never forget. Yeah, he, he'll do that. And they fall. Mm -hmm. so and what? someone that I was with, a friend, he prayed over him, blew on him, and fell. Would you talk to him afterwards? And they really encountered God in that moment. No, he blew no, he on blew. him. He blew. He blew on him. Didn't touch him. Never touched him. And they got encountered. So that's so, what I'm saying. It's like, well, can we really judge it? I don't know. There's things that I won't do, but there are also things that I won't. 
Well, but then how do you know until you try? That's another thing too. Because I never try to blow on somebody. It's kind of weird. I don't. I don't know. For That's me, weird, yeah. I just feel like I'm not even like. <laughs> yeah. Blow on something. Yeah, and they fall. I, I, if they did, I would kind of laugh. I'd be like, why did you do all that? <laughs> when you kind of laugh. They convolt on the floor. I'd be like, no, don't convolt on the floor. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's, that'd be a little weird. You send me a lot of those, man. It's just, yeah, it's they, crazy. they kick and they fall. What do Where you do you find these at? They're just on my, uh, like, feed. Like, on the, you know, the, the, the Discovery. You sent me the Holy Laughter on ones, too. Instagram. No, I don't think that's just crazy. That's too the much. The joy of the Lord. The, they're laughing like hyenas. The joy of the Lord. You you like the guys that get high off the jeans? No, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Crossfaded. Cross. That's come on, oh my bro. God. That's just that's just not. Come on. Remember that when he had the cross? And Dad, like, no. You love it. I I watched the documentary and I was like, this is crazy. They do lines of scripture. This crazy from the Bible. If you saw anybody doing that at your church, would you kick? Would oh, you, would you kick my him dad out? would be like, <laughs> up and out, get up and out. out, up and out, get him out, get him out of here, get him out, get him out. Because <laughs> it's a little weird, bro. It's, it's a little weird. weird. Bro. Weird. Bro, Dang. get some hot dog, man. No, because it's going to get it. I'll, I'll eat it in a bit. Got the Gucci suit on. I don't want to get it all dirty. The chili. The chili I love me. Damn, that's crazy, man. So you, you think that's real? They blow on people? I don't know, man. I won't judge it. Your boy had the Gucci suit. What Your boy? boy. Yeah, I sent it to you. Ah! Shout out to Luke Coulter. Luke Coulter had a Gucci jacket on. And he, dude, he has so much shoes, bro. Oh, yeah. Come on. So nobody can say nothing to me, bro. You know he gave a pair of shoes to my brother one time? That's why he and loves they're them. They're expensive. That's why he loves them, huh? Well, you better tell Luke that I gave you shoes. <laughs> and I love you, man. You do. You do. That, that uh, photo actually just came up recently. Really? I love those shoes, bro. I know, man. They, they look good on you. I love they, them. When I saw them like that. I kind of want a pair. You should. Well, she, we'll match. she says she's been. Oh, you can't she's do. She's cutting me off, dude. Got, yeah. I'm like, come on. No more spending. It. Well, we, we gotta get. Yeah, we have priorities, but like, I mean, we gotta get that. I don't know. Eventually, we got it. No. Yo! Hey. The, anyway, the Trumps are coming out. I want the Trumps shoes so bad. They will actually match really well with your. Outfit I want right the now. Trumps, dude. What? I'm enabling you right now. Jen I want the stop. Trumps, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Trumps. Yeah. <laughs> Jen said no. I'm way. gonna get the Trumps, bro. You gotta work an extra. Do day. you like Donald Trump? I love the guy. He's so like funny, hilarious. He's hilarious, bro. I can't wait for the debates this year. When is that? Like they're gonna be like the next like couple months up until like November, bro. You think he's gonna win? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But dude, the things he's Nobody gonna, like he's gonna say, oh my god, he's gosh. already saying crazy things. He's like this. He's all he. You hear him say, he's like, if people, he's all, I'm gonna fix the this the the robbery situation. Oh yeah, they, yeah. when they go in there and they they steal, they're gonna get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Man. that? Can you imagine where you, they like, they hire like, all right, we're hiring you, and you shoot them. You shoot those guys. They stole. <laughs> they stole. Uh, what, what do you get paid for? I just shoot people. That'd you know be in crazy. China, you know in China they cut your fingers no, off if don't. you steal. No way. That's crazy. That would stop. That they would also stop kill the Christians too. True. That's yeah, true. Man. That's crazy, bro. That got deep. Yeah, it got real deep. But they're doing it. But dude, I mean, do you think they they don't steal in, in Texas? Everybody has guns on them. Yeah, that's true. They have them on their hip, bro. They're like loaded, ready to go. Well, you wouldn't have a gun if it was legal here, huh? You'd be scared. I want one. You'd be scared. No, I wouldn't. You'd be scared to shoot somebody. What? Yeah. If I was shit? No, I'll cap him, bro. No, you They'd wouldn't, bro. Cow- no, bah, you bah, wouldn't. Bah, get back. Gucci clown, Gucci clown. Gucci no. <laughs> we got it on film, bro. Gucci clown, Gucci clown. I'll shoot him. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, yeah. No, but I shot now, so I'm good. You're good now. I'm good. I'll you do got it. the nerves out. I'll do it. <laughs> no, it was just so loud. I'll, just get, I'll get a little tiny one. A little peep peep. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll get them. I'll shoot them. Those, those, seen- those don't have a big kick. True. Yeah, I'll just make sure to have some, some, uh, some head headset. <laughs> You're like, hold on, right there. Yeah, yeah. I'll put the, put the, the ear, the ear pieces, pieces real right. fast, now bro. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, now I'm ready. Yeah, it'll be that's right hilarious. next to the gun, so I'll get the ear, the ear plugs. You know, because you don't want to go deaf, bro. You know? True, true, true. Yeah. All right, I, I got a couple of topics. Cause I know we're. All like, right, go, go, This go. is some good Jesus talk, man. It's some good go. Jesus talk. Yeah, give me the Jesus talk. Got some good topics coming. So, um, first one. It happened a couple weeks ago, but I feel like it's blowing up my timeline. What is it? Have you seen for the Super Bowl, they had a pastor and his wife kicking a Bible oh, during the I service? I saw that. That's Whoa, crazy. They kicked the Bible. They were pretending it was like a football and they that's were doing like horrible. a kickoff. They literally kicked a Bible across the stage. That's horrible. That's, that, that's bad. But they were doing it as like an illustration. Obviously, they care about the Bible, which also brings me to another one. 
Did you see this? This is a black preacher. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Michael Todd. Have you ever heard of him? No. He's like kind of taller. He's got glasses. Yeah. He was pouring syrup on his Bible. No, for what? And like all this stuff. Have you seen that one? That Why? Clip? So basically he was saying like a lot of people, it was an illustration. He's saying people don't care about coming to church. don't care about the Bible. So he's like, yeah, he's like, he literally gets a Bible. He's like, well, let's just pour syrup on it. It's like during but service. Why? Well, let's just pour this on it. And he gets it and throws it on the wall. Like he's just like disrespecting the Bible, which he's using it as an illustration for people what? saying what like, do you think about that? They don't care about the Bible, yeah, what do you think about that? but it's like that or like kicking the Bible. I'm like, it's just not tasteful. You don't need to like, do that. Yeah. You don't need to you don't do need that. To make it. That's the Holy Bible. Yeah, that's like, oh, this might as well rip the pages. Dang. You're pretty much doing that. Like People don't care about the Bible, and you start ripping the pages out. Bro, that's crazy. Do you think it's bad to put your Bible on the floor? That's good questions. Um, I don't ever put my Bible on the floor. Because a lot of people like really reverence the Bible. Some I people don't do, put my some Bible people don't. Jen's laughing over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I... I, I put, oh, yes, you I do. I put my Bible on the floor. <laughs> I have. Repent Thanks right now, bro. Me out. It's Repent. in our house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're. I mean, some people get weird about writing in the Bible. Okay, that's another thing. But I highlight all. I highlight so much stuff. I got a sticker on my Bible. Dude, I put my name on my Bible. Is that bad? I put my name real big on both sides. You do it like the way you do it, yep. like the Richie. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. What would God think about that? See, I'm reading every day, so there you oh, go. Yeah, it's just come on, it's the cover. It's just showing it's my Bible. Mm. You know what I mean? People get so pissed. They're like, "Oh, if you don't have the, the King James version, I don't know. You don't know nothing." What version do you actually? You, you I have use? right now. I have the um, EV ESV. ESV, yeah, English Standard Version. Yeah, that's what I got right now. That's a good one. I got that Simple, one. Simple, plain. But I also have the uh, New King James Version. That's what I have because they don't have the thee, thou, you know. No, no, that one doesn't have it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I have it. That's, oh, okay, okay, you know, yeah. Because yeah. the, 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 the King James version that, that one's that has you know, but I also have that too. I have a big one. I have a the, big. Yeah, you do at your that, house. You saw it? Yeah, you, you showed it. Sick, me. dude. It's so dope. It's like it just feels. It's like, dope, dude. Yeah. yeah, but it's so hard to read. Yeah. Like a lot of thou yeah. shalt love your thy neighbor. Nerdy, yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of that. A lot no. of people. A lot of people. I got to that question about us, like to ask you about what version of the Bible people you use. ask me that people get really hung up on like what version That's what you saying use. like it's it's a religious spirit man Everybody but you know like, the NIV what? takes scriptures out oh that one's kind of wow. crazy so NIV? I would say for NIV it's not a sin to have one I'm gonna freak out on you yeah but the NIV is kind of weird they take scriptures out yeah, yeah there's like two scriptures you can look it up oh, look it up guys yeah. fact check me well it's only two yeah <laughs> <laughs> no big deal it's only two whatever. no big deal <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever. we don't read them anyways just uh just get those Dang. scriptures right and you put them in the book and like uh index card just put like actually a, just a for, just remember it just remember it just remember it and you just don't sticky note sticky note i put sticky notes in mine yeah because sometimes i'll i'll, I'll write down what it means to me don't you, lie have you ever drew in your bible have i drew in the bible uh no yeah. I know somebody that like got bored at church and was drawing the Bible. I'm like, bro, that's messed up. <laughs> that's Full on, just drawing, drawing or... like pictures, like Damn, little stick crazy. figures. What? <laughs> they're bored in Dang. church. That's that's not cool. That's a, you can't read the Bible. That's demonic. <laughs> that's demonic. That's demonic. That's crazy. What's worse, drawing stick figures in the Bible or sleeping while you're reading the Bible? Damn. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I fall asleep. I know. All right, I'll get. But you're take, listening to it. I'll get. Yeah, right? but I still fall. Yeah, I still fall asleep. I do, <laughs> and then I'll stop. I'll stop because you know that's funny. Yeah, I'll stop. You know, I'll be all right. I'll gotta wake up and I'll take I'll get, get some coffee <laughs> or something. But uh, what does it say? That um, what does it say? You, you told me about that. Oh, uh, sleeping. Oh, I'll get it checked out. I'm gonna get. I gotta get it checked out. Are you really for real? Well, yeah, because I mean it's scary. Like, like honestly, like, I hate the doctor. Jen, bro. Jen says I I stop breathing, and you know, and then my brother said it gets worse. Like when you get older, it gets worse, or like you can actually die in your sleep. Cause you, so that means you're gonna have to sleep with that machine. No, no, forever. I mean, most people do, unless you get healed in Jesus' name. Damn, that but sucks. you know that all the metal's My dad gotta go. Has that. No, it doesn't. Dude, it has to. How's the dude? The machine's not gonna fit, even you know, like over your mouth. Dude, your health is more important. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know if it'll fit in the nose. Huh? Your health is more important. Like I can't have a plug in there. Even like these, so how is it gonna like get a tight seal? I mean, Dang. if I had to, then yeah, I guess so. That would suck. Do you dude. think I'm gonna have to? But then how am I gonna sleep with my wife with the machine? That thing is loud. Uh, no, they make them pretty quiet now. They do. I know someone that has That's one. That's crazy. Yeah, a CPAP. Come on, give me a kiss, babe. What? <laughs> <laughs> she said uh, I snore loud at right now. What are you talking about? Uh, well, all right, that, yeah, that's thanks, gonna babe. be. That's gonna wow. give her more sleep, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like, 
<laughs> well, that's more soothing than the. <laughs> you know, it's that machine is like. Well, she said I've been good lately, right? Yeah, it's gotten a lot better. That's good. Yeah. And maybe maybe so Jesus will heal you. And it's on my back. Oh yeah. I don't know. I I I never I never knew that I did that. Cause I sleep with my arm, but my arms are like heavy. Hmm. Huh? Did I sleep with my back? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody tells me that. Yeah. Everybody. They're like, you're so loud. My brother, my mom is like, oh, you're so loud. I'm sorry, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, they can hear you all over yeah. the house, probably. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever fell asleep? This is random. But have you ever fell asleep and you have like a really bad dead arm? Yeah, it was recently. Dude, I knew somebody. So bad, bro. Their dad had to have their arm amputated. No. Because they fell asleep on it for eight hours. No, he didn't. He didn't wake up because he was taking sleeping medication. And it cut off so much circulation what? that his whole hand went black and they had to cut off his hand, his arm. Shut up. Dude. Shut up. I promise you. They cut his arm off? Because he fell asleep on it and didn't wake up. That sucks. That's dude. jacked up. That sucks. You go to so sleep with your arm and get next, out of here. the next morning your arm has to be amputated. It's just, it's just a zombie arm? That sucks. It's a zombie arm. <laughs> zombie, like, arm. zombie arm <laughs> google zombie arm <laughs> dead zombie flesh flesh fleshly arm graphic graphic S disturbing, uh, disturbing she's like richie stop <laughs> if you know you know <laughs> you're, you're great we just gotta get more of that yeah. they'll, they'll, zombie arm. Yeah. Zombie <laughs> arm. Oh, yeah. but no that really happened to him dude. do you think that we're gonna have real zombies in the world because um, bath salts was form of zombie. They did eat human flesh. He was eating his face. That's bad. Remember that? That's, that's a zombie. In Miami or something? Do you believe that... The flock, yeah. Do you think that... No. You know, I've been seeing no so way. many people where I live on fentanyl. Because they say when you're on fentanyl, you can tell because they hunch over. What? And they literally like... It like makes you hunch. No. I've been seeing so many people on the streets, even driving here. Ew. Like I see them hunched over. What and the heck? they said that's a big thing right now with fentanyl. It's, it's causing people like, no. to like, why do you want to do over. that? That's crazy. But like, so you think there's going to be zombies, bro? What do you think? Yeah. Do we, do we just cast them out or what? I don't know if it's. What I, do we do? Like, in Jesus' name, and they start biting your arm. You're like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> You're like, is it a demon? It is a demon. Dang. But then you got possessed and you got zombie, whatever flesh, you know? Can you can you cast something out? But what if it's just what if it's a medical thing? It's a yeah. The the government made like this crazy yeah experiment and they're eating everybody. I mean, you can cast it out, but will it will they just go back to full health? I don't know. No, but then you get the zombies eating flesh disease. Remember Ebola? That's crazy, dude. Do you remember that? Yeah, it was yeah. in Africa. That's crazy. And you basically barf and poop to, to death. You die that. You die because it's die. just like your whole body. That's just, horrible. Death, there was a bro. preacher from here that felt God was calling him to go. Did he go? And he died. And he died. Yeah, what sucks. do you think about that? You feel uh, someone comes and he says, Richie, God's telling me to go. He's going to protect me. He's going to keep me safe. It's a demon. <laughs> I'm going to go. Because what void? You got to test the spirit. What about all the pastors that died? Of oh. oh. <laughs> I'll cut that. I got to remember to cut that. There's a lot of pastors that died of you know what because they said, well, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm, not, I'm, I'm protected. Then they get it. And they die. And they die. What, well, do you, what do you feel about that? That sucks. I know it sucks, but what do you feel about that? It's a demon. Because the demon is disease. Yeah. But then, uh, but, uh, yeah, but people are like, you know, if like, I go, I go. It's my time. It's my time. God will protect me. They, you know, they say that. Oh, God will protect me. And then and they die from, you know, whatever. That sucks, dude. That's, was that of God or not? No, I mean, the, the you know, enemy dis comes disease, to steal. Yeah, diseases are diseases are demons. You know, like AIDS is a demon. You know, HIV is a demon. So, do you remember when homosexuality like, when is a demon? Yeah. So these are you know. There's a lot of people living with that now. I guess it's like they found medication. They well, yeah, because they're it. making money off it. Yeah, they have the cure for you know the other thing. They got a cure, cure for a lot of stuff. We can't say what it is. We'll get. Ooh. Isn't that crazy that they have a cure yeah. for something, but they won't because it's well, so much money. Well, they'll just hype up the the medication. So when you do have the 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 death the death uh, what is it called virus? You think one day it'll come out? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Like they have the cure. They already have it, man. There's but like people, people use like them distributing, it, or you think they'll yeah, for sure you do. Yeah, yeah. It'll yeah, be yeah. expensive, huh? Oh, really expensive, yeah. So like when the you, elite people can buy, yeah. It. Cause they have chemo, yeah. So the te well, technically you got to go back and back and back. So you're you're paying your medicals, going back to do chemo. Chemo. It, you know what, how many times it comes back? 
But they, yeah, because they want money, dude. They want you to be sick and stuff, you know? Dang. It's crazy, bro. But there is, like, I do believe, like, do you believe that, that they have, like, herbal healing? Uh, there's a lot of healing in Mexico like that marijuana, people go. Marijuana heals, bro. Like, they'll, they, they extract the actual oil, and it says it cures, yeah. it cures I won't say, but you well, let's be that. honest, right? Like, would marijuana? you rather do chemo? Would you rather do chemo or do marijuana? This is a good question. Oh, because it is natural, but the society wants to say it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. You know, God made marijuana. Yeah, right? it's a plant. Yeah, it was it was God made. Yeah, but it also is. It, I mean, there's numerous things that it it, ha, it does it does cure uh, kids with seizures or people with seizures. It, it does, does cure that. But do uh, I? Do you have to smoke it? No, well that so they extract the 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 oil from the the plant, right? Mm -hmm. Which is doesn't get you high, but the, it's just the oil, like pure pure THC. Yeah, they, they make pill versions, right? So you take it or or oh they, yeah, then I'd be good. Well, yeah, you're but, not, you but, don't get but high. What, but don't what get if high. you what if you had to get high? I do, yeah. <laughs> what is, it, is that a is that a like? If it's a me, to me, if it's a medical use, it's not a sin. You know what I mean? If you're doing to me, if you're okay, if you're over, but what if you experience it, something demonic while you're high? Because uh, don't you like? You I've never been oh, high. Open doors, but do you? Okay, this is what I'm saying. Like, if if it's if it's for like this is a good medical, stuff. if it's a me medical, right? So like it's it's a microdose. Like I okay, if I'm gonna say it right now. Say I it. used to micro I microdose shrooms for a year straight, for a whole year. What does that feel like? Oh, dude, you're lit. Like you're like you can still function, but you're mm -hmm. so connected with people. It's 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 amazing. Like I kind of want to do it again. You just take you take a, a capsule of it and you take it right. Mm -hmm. You you feel like you can't get depressed on it. There's no you're happy. You're just so happy, right? I remember I took it and um, I sold three paintings back to back. In the barbershop. I used to have the paintings on there. And I just was like so connected to these guys that came in. And I just felt like I knew them forever. It was so cool. But like you you feel you can still, I can still drive a car, still cut hair. Nobody knew that I was on shrooms because mm. it was only a capsule. But it does it does take away your, you know, like your depression. You're not depressed, you know, and all that stuff. So wait, I, wait, I, it's shrooms? It's, it's a, yeah, the, the mushroom. So, so it's you, from the ground. Yeah, it's from the ground. God made mushrooms. Yeah. But is there you, anything added to it or just mushrooms? It's just mushroom, yeah. But if you obviously do it too much, you'll trip out. Like it's like acid, right? Hmm. Now acid's a man made drug, right? Acid is. And they say they, they invented it for uh for the war. Hmm. You know, they say, you know, the Nazis wanted to which is Dang. the Nazis did use I think like like some form of drug to to get them amped up. Yeah, oh. some kind of what was it? It was speed, yeah. So hmm. they Methamphetamine, yeah, they they worked mm. on a bunch of stuff for the Nazis, you know, and they did it. But that makes sense. I, to me, I feel like if it's if it's a microdose, and you know, like like CBD is great for for CBD, for yeah. different causes. Like she used CBD on my shoulder, and it and it made it better. Mm. So yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. I'm just I'm just so I'm concerned more about the high part. Well, if you're not getting super high, where you don't know where you're at, and you're just like. Getting a micro dose of it, I don't think it's bad. Mm. Like if you can, if you can still function, obviously still like drive a vehicle and do. Yeah. It, I don't think it's. I don't think it's bad. What do you think? It's micro dose, yeah. Micro dose, yeah. Like, um, there's certain people that I know that smoke and or they do edibles and it, it helps them concentrate more because mm. they're, they're ADD. Have you heard, you've heard of like Adderall and stuff like that too? Yeah, right? that's uh, but I, I know, know someone that's like a legit prophet that was like taking that. But that's medical use, right? That's yeah. like a, from a doctor. A lot Adderall? of people are like, "Oh, that's so bad." It's a, but that's an actual medication. Oh you know? wow, yeah, yeah. So. This is a good. This is a good topic, dude. Well, because there's a lot of like opinions on. this. I mean, is he abusing it? Is he, you know, it's, that's no, what I'm no, saying. No, if you're abusing it. it, it's totally bad, you know. Yeah. Like from, I get yeah. If it's a microdose, a microdose means you can still do stuff, function, and do things, and you're fine. You're not like totally out of your. Um, you know, yeah, your yeah, spiritual yeah. realm kind of thing. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. That's horrible. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd much rather. 
I'd much rather have uh, I'd much rather have natural natural. Well, yeah, like all this the man made for to, to go to sleep and all this stuff. Mm. Why don't you just you know do indica? Take a gummy indica, you're good, you're out. You know, and it helps with a lot of things. It helps with a uh, appetite. You know, people that that don't want to you know or sleep ap- or you don't want to f- go to sleep. What mm. are you gonna do? You know, uh, would you rather take that than this melatonin stuff that's like fake? Yeah, like come on, dude. Like, what, Crazy. what, what would you want your daughter to do? You know. But I think I think the more the way the way things are going, mm. society like everybody, it's not even a. They're using marijuana more as a medical thing than yeah. than just like getting like, you know. But you can take it to the stream too, you know. Do you remember in Venice at a time everyone was getting the medical cards? Oh yeah, you dude. go to like a I doctor. Have, I have mine. You go to the doctor. I have there. mine. Yeah. He's like, yeah. uh, does this hurt? Okay, you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't sleep. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, everyone's yeah. like, oh, I can't sleep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> everyone had the medical cards. Oh, you got anxiety? Okay, here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was a guy in Venice. ADD, it was like forty yeah. bucks. Yeah, yeah, it was all yeah. It was cheap back then. Dude, I love Venice. Like, I think it's so sick. The it's culture, still longer, dude. Like, it's not the same. I heard it's bad now, dude. It's it's so like, bad because they let they let out so many inmates, jail people in jail, homeless. and also yeah, homeless everywhere, just everywhere. So bad, dude. People getting stabbed, shot. Like they they just took over. It's embarrassing because I feel like so many people when they come here they want to go to Venice or like Santa Monica yeah, the and tourists. they come and it just looks like crap, just so smells, bad, stinks. Yeah. yeah, it's not the way it used to be. Even Hollywood's not. You know, it's it's just getting way bad, dude. It's bad, bro. Even New York, New York's like all of it. You know. Yeah, dude. And the Bible talks about this. I mean, I know we we want peace and all that stuff, but the end times are going to be crazy. Even there, more? There's no peace. There's no cleaning up. There's no, it's going to get better. Dang. It's only going to get worse, bro. The Bible talks about this. How do you feel about... Dude, we're I having mean, some really good talks today. I know, right? That's cool. This is probably one of our best ones. You always say that. Oh, we're so connected, we're, bro. We're connected, bro. <laughs> well, because we care. I mean, we both care, you know? Yeah. Okay, what do, you, what do you feel about this? Like, you know, the Bible says there's going to be so many, like, Christians or believers that are just going to turn their backs. Mm. The, church, the church is going to be taken down. How do you feel about... How do you feel about that? And like, imagine walking like you, walking among society, mm. and and everywhere you look, you just see like just destruction. And there's no like, where where are all the believers at? How would you feel that like, like you know, walking among society and like you feel their pain, you want them to be saved, but then they just call you crazy. Like you know what I mean? Dang. Like, that would be a good movie. Oh, it'd be a good movie. That'd be a really good movie. Like you're just there's not that many. But there's still the group, you know, like mm-hmm. you got your your the group of warriors, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean, like where you guys are not gonna. It, it kind of sounds like it's gonna be like a fight club kind of thing. Well, a lot of people believe, yeah, a lot you know of people believe like that's the thing with the whole rapture thing. Some people believe like we're gonna get raptured, the people that are left here. Yeah. That's how it's gonna be. If oh, you're like a Christian, yeah. you're not gonna have to go through that. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of but it's, on it that. does say there's not that many people that are gonna be like towards the end times. A lot of people are gonna turn away, right? There'll be a great following away. A great well, so when is, so a great following away. Do you think they're gonna be alive? Well, a lot for of people that? believe we're already experiencing that now. No way. I feel like there's a uh, a new um, revolution, revival, you know, revival. Yeah, there's a new revival right now. I feel I feel like there is. What I do, see it. Do you dude. think? I mean, I like, see it. I mean, look at a lot of celebrities, a lot of stars. There's dude, a lot of people. Kid like, Rock. He's and then and the Hulk and like there's a lot the of Hulk, celebrities. Dude. The Hulk, dude. The Hulk is in, in, bro. He's in. He Joe got, Rogan's like, don't don't share where your church is show, at. Yeah, yeah. I want him. I want him to come, brother. That's so cool. That's so Let rad. him come, brother. Even uh, Mr. T. Mr. T's always been Christian, He's bro. Christian. I yeah. remember the 90s seeing him on Christian TV. He's Christian, man. I pity the fool that go to hell. Dang. <laughs> Mr. T. So that's cool. There's, there's Next more is Arnold, bro. Dude, there's more. Let no, me tell he's you Illuminati. about Jesus. He's Illuminati. He is. He's Illuminati big time. He is. Yeah. Yeah, he's big time Illuminati. But what are you gonna do? Like when a lot of people are just falling off, it's gonna be sad, dude. And you're just you're 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 walking around. You're doing your you know job. You know you're doing your thing. Or what happens when Christians start getting beat up? The persecution is gonna be crazy. Are you gonna speak? Are you gonna, you know? Kill me? I don't care. Yeah. Torture I mean, me. I, that's why I think it's gonna be like kind of like a fight club where I have a bunch of warriors. Like, all right, you ready? Let's go out. Let's go out. Let's do this. Yeah. But you know, it's gonna be crazy, bro. End times and. Are people well? I feel like a lot of people are speaking about God, though. Yeah, a lot of people are. 
<laughs> but I feel like it's like a, I don't know, especially like in Hollywood right now, it's kind of like a, not a weak Jesus, but it's not the full picture. Really? It's kind of just like a cute, like, oh yeah, like I know Jesus. Is but it? But then they're still doing their thing. It's kind of like not like, what, I don't know. What spot are you talking about in, in, in Hollywood? Like look at, think about Justin Bieber. Yeah, that's weak ass, yeah, so weak. He's like, I'm say I love Jesus, yeah, but weak, then yeah. they're like still doing their thing. Yeah. He's like talking about like getting high on the same this with Chance the Rapper and all this stuff. I'm like, wait, Damn. weren't you guys just talking about Jesus the last track over? Damn. Like you put skip to the next track, you guys talking about Jesus. Like, you know? Yeah. And look at Kanye West, same thing. Dude, he put up a Jesus album and all this stuff, and all of a sudden the next yeah, thing. Look at this. Have you seen a new album? No. Oh, so bad, dude. Like the girl he's with now is cra- cra- crazy yeah. girl. Well, he had a game, mask like, on, had Jesus uh crucifixion on his on his and then he said, I'm I'm king. See, I'm, I'm just king. like you're not king. The only king is Jesus, bro. Why would you dare to say that you're the king? You are not. Bro, the we king, were so bro. happy in 2019 when he found when he was doing his theme because here in in Inglewood, in yeah, he was doing a Sunday service. No Did you way hear about that. Yeah, but you had to pay a lot of money to get in it, right? Yeah, you got to pay for you gotta it. Pay. That's but it's because it's, it's, it's the forum. Getting, but how do you? How do you feel about people paying to go? To- well, what he said is that he wasn't. It's not him. It wasn't him charging. Supposedly, he didn't get yeah, anything right. from it. He said, how many people showed up? It was it was the the forum is the one that charges. How big is the forum? It's massive. He my brother paid. went. My he brother got went. Paid. He got paid. Of course he went. <laughs> yeah, of course he went to that. Yeah, <laughs> my brother went. Your brother's all into that the crazy he went. stuff, bro. He went. He, he went. He went to the Sunday service. But like that, right? Connie West gets saved. Yeah. We're all happy, and all of a sudden, look. A couple years later, it's like nowhere to be found because he he needs to get delivered. There's a lot of demons with him, bro. You can tell there's demons with him, bro. For reals, there's demons in him, dude. You know it, you know. And I think what it, what it takes is maybe, I don't know, he's going to have to come across somebody to literally tell him, like, hey, man, like, you know. He's like a, a real man or guy, like, pull him under his wing. What type of person, though? Like a Richie the Barber. I don't know if he would listen to a clown. <laughs> it would be cool, though. You know what I mean? It would be, like, that would be outrageous, like, just going up to him and be like, look, man, you want me to tell you the truth or what? I don't know. You want Straight me, up. You want me to tell you something or what? Are you going to get pissed? You want to hear the truth or what? That's it. You know, and then can you take it? You know? Yeah. So. This is good. I mean, if we start talking about God, me and him start talking about God, you know, it starts off with that. Yeah. And then just lay it on him. But hey, you want to cast these demons out? I don't, I, you know what I learned? I don't think you should. I don't think we should be saying that. Like you want to cast these demons out. They just get scared. I think we should. I should just pray on people and then just do see, it. Just do it. Because, yeah, I feel like if you ask, then... Yeah, but at yeah, the same time, it's like, people are going to be like, oh, I don't think... I think once people get free, they won't be like, oh, you didn't ask me for permission. They're just going to... They're free. No, they're you just say, like, hey, can I, can I pray for you? Yeah. And then you do the the whole steps, and then and then you just say, like, you know, have you forgiven yourself? Who have you not forgiven, of course? And then after that, just go into it. Just yeah. look, and That's what I should be doing, you know? Because, you know... Asking certain people if you want to get delivered is kind of like like get scared unless yeah. they come to you and say, "Hey, I'm demonized. Can you help me out?" Yeah. Then as all day, oh yeah, I'll get him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get him. You know. Let's do it. Yeah. Bro, this is such a good conversation, man. Damn. Guys, we started on YouTube and now we're on Patreon right now, Woo! and I think we're we're already hitting our time right now. So. Dang, already. This is such a good episode. Thank you, bro. Richie, I'm so proud of you, bro. Thank you, bro. Where you walk with God, your fire. I can feel your fire just coming off of you. You're getting married. <laughs> You're married in a couple days. Thank you, Have bro. a great time at the wedding. I know. God is just moving on your life, bro. I'm feel so proud fire. of you. Woo! Feel that fire. Feel that fire. No, I honestly feel it, dude. Ignite As you were speaking, him. I was like. Lord Jesus, ignite him right now. Ignite him more. Let's Holy fire. Be bold. Go out. Pray on people. Don't be afraid. You need, you need more of that. You need Amen. to go, dude. All right? Don't even don't even question when someone says, "Hey, I feel like I got pain in my back." Mm. Are you to go put your hand on them and mm. say, "In Jesus' name, come out." Come on, dude. Come, come on. on. Come on, Richie. You're gonna be at the store, and then someone's like, "Hey, man, I need help." You gonna pray on them? What? You could do it, right? Amen. <laughs> I, I, dude, I could always use more, bro. Yeah, man. I could always use more. Cause yeah. I've, I've, obviously we've done that, but it's just like I don't know, even just even you speaking like that with me right now, dude. It's just a constant reminder. To, well, to, to do it Would you say You said this is a lifestyle Every day bro So why are we gonna just do it In this in this building When we The most people that need help Are the people outside of Amen. the building Amen On the streets On the thing That's why I love To wear shirts that say That have Jesus on it Or certain phrases yeah. Like Jesus saves Or Jesus loves you I love it Yeah Because I wouldn't That just breaks the ice Yeah 
Christians don't like that. Christians don't like that. They get pissed, right? They get I'm pissed. like, bro, how would, how would he even know? You broke the ice. Yeah. Hey, man, Jesus, you know? But you know, Your shirts, bro, they hate them, man. They hate them, dude. Every little thing, dude. They hate everything. Even yeah. the hat, they're like, what is that? Graffiti, <laughs> vandalism, <laughs> well, they say it's Jesus Illuminati. name. Like, it's Illuminati, yeah. Yeah, the Illuminati. Who said the hat's what? Yeah, I saw one comment that said like, what is that? Like, how would you disrespect Jesus' name by like it looks like tagging? Like that's disrespectful. Jesus oh name. my God, like, Jesus, dude! It's it's the gospel. It's it's his name. It doesn't matter how it's written. You know what it's I'm saying? Art. People do all kinds of art. Yeah, they're like, no, it's bad. Oh, they with say, the like, hat, my hat says Jesus. How do you have Jesus' name as like a band, like vandalism? Like that's disrespecting yeah. his name. I'm like, dude, they're shut just up, haters. Bro. They're haters, bro. Like, you guys are, you guys are never happy. They're haters, man. Never happy. I think we just gotta. It, oh, well, we don't live for them. We live for Jesus. You know, yeah. that's the world right there. But one guy did was one guy was like, dude, where'd you get your hat at? Yeah, it's pretty cool, you know? I've been telling everybody, and Jen, Jen wants to start making them and selling them. You should, you know. Hats, hats by Jen. Oh, yeah, dude, that'd be sick, you know. Two ends. Yeah, two ends, not one. Two ends, dude. <laughs> when we were doing your ring, dude, I remember that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said two ends. Two ends. Yeah. <laughs> so the that, ladies can know Richie's married. Yeah, the ladies gotta know. So guys, Richie's officially off the market. Guess what I saw next? I'm getting it. I saw it. Oh, it, the chain. You saw the chain? Yeah. You saw the chain? So, okay, how cool it was is that? Your name, huh? It's Jen with two ends. Two ends. That was cool. But they they're selling it. Really? There's so well. There's a there's a guy that makes custom ones mm. like that, right? Probably so expensive. No, they, they make custom, right? It's affordable. <laughs> it's not. It's not like 10, 10 racks or anything, but like it's it's, it's affordable. But um, yeah, I want to get it and Dude. then be like, ladies, what, the, you know? Hey, that would be crazy. That's that'd bold be nice. right there. Yeah. That's bold. You imagine some of the chicks all, what is that? And I'm all, that's my that's my wife. That's your wife. And she'd be like, damn. Your wife's <laughs> on a chain, yeah, and also on the ring. Get Woo. back, get ah. back, right? And <laughs> no, I'm just saying, don't, don't yeah. punch yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. That's, we don't condone that's violence bold, against bro. Him. That's bold. That's bold. That's so bold. That's so bold. But we need to do that as men, bro. Yeah, that, we they show certain ways of love. We got to show that we're dedicated and we're serious. And there's nobody in our lives but them. Like there's no other women. Like I don't True. want no other woman. True. You know, but I need to let these thirsty, crazy women to know that. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's and it's it's a uh, sentimental. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Dude. She's on my phone. She's on uh, pictures lovey, on my on my, dubbies, uh, bro. on my iPad. She's on my screensaver. Woo. She's uh, you know, what I mean? she's on my watch. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. I mean, they know. It, they know when I open the phone, it's me and her, dude. I love it's it. It's me and her. I love I it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I can't wait to celebrate you guys, dude. Friday's Your wife's gonna, gonna hate so this episode. Nah, dude. She's she, like, no, she's yeah. gonna be like, see, Richie's telling you, you gotta do. We gotta show me my love language. That's love, though. The chain, the chain's love, though. That's love. That's cool, right? But is that too? Is that is that? Are we allowed to do that? Yeah, I do. That's. I mean, uh, whatever, right? Mike has. He has a, a grill, and yeah, he does. He wants to go on the show. Oh, Ooh. guys, we got some special guests yeah, coming. It's good. So excited. It's good. Well, Richie, bro, again, can't wait to celebrate you, bro. Congrats Thanks, bro. to you and Jen. We love you guys so much. So excited to be a part of your guys' life. And uh, it's only going to go up from here, man. Let's go. Let's go. We appreciate you guys. Guys, thank you guys so much for, for staying on. This, like I said, spilled over to a Patreon. We just didn't want to stop it. So <laughs> we appreciate all your support on Patreon. We love you guys so much.